This is lightly smoked opaloin. We wanted to put it over some pine on the grill, give it a little bit of temperature change, not too much, but add in smokiness and kind of that sappy pine flavor. What we were kind of going for with this dish was more of a new Californian, almost Nordic collaboration of flavors. So you have the lightly smoked opaloin, Thai chilies, spruce shoots, and a prawn oil. And then it's all covered with a dehydrated fried bulk kelp. So you're gonna have a citrusy kind of bitter note from the spruce. The oil is gonna be very oceanic and taste a lot like shellfish. The kelp is also oceanic, but very rich and umami from the dehydration and the frying. Overall, this dish is very indicative of California and the coastal flavors, especially with the San Diego landed opa. This is grilled opaloin with a char siu glaze, which is very Chinese. It's almost like a sweet barbecue. And then we pair it with a little bit of applesauce. We use the natural sugars from the apples to kind of cook them down with vanilla and cinnamon. And then we garnish it with shaved celery, Thai chilies, cilantro, a little kefir lime zest, and a little bit of garlic oil. It has sweet, it has spicy, it has salty, it has fat, it has bitter. Kind of has just a little bit of everything. And then it all balances out really well and comes together. Southern California has a vast diversity of people in it and they all bring their flavors and combining all those together to create this kind of new modern California cuisine, especially with this OPA that's landing off the docks in San Diego. Everything kind of really ties into each other and works really, really well. So this is ceviche of opaloin. I wanted to infuse a lot of Mexican influence and kind of bring a little bit of new techniques into it with the shrimp garlic oil. And then just use some local flavors that are in season right now with the apple and the fennel. Keep it very, very, very simple. Opa can really lend itself to just about anything preparation wise from rata cooked to ceviches. The loins have this really nice soft texture that can very much be similar to tuna and they don't really require too much work to really be flavorful.